So, what's going on? Well, I'm off work and I'm gonna be I'm kind of bored. It's kind of crappy outside. Hit and miss, clouds come in, rains, windy. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff to do. I could be in that right there, which I probably will be with Robin in a little while. But in the meantime, she's taking a nap and I don't want to disturb her. So I am in the midst of making chili verde. Well, actually, it's tomatillo verde salsa. So one of the first things you do is you get a bunch of these tomatillos and you wash them up, you skin them or take the skin off of them and then you've got to roast them and then peel the main skin off of them because they come in a weird shell so anyway while she's doing her little napping I'm gonna be roasting these up and getting them ready to peel the skin off of and cook up some green salsa good stuff from scratch oh it's good really good <laughs> So, everybody knows that you got to have heat when you get to salsa. So, we got tomatillos, of course, and these are not jalapenos. These are serranos. I don't like jalapenos. Well, I, I mean, I, I eat jalapenos. I don't prefer jalapenos when I cook. I prefer the serrano because it has... Um, a delayed effect to it and it gives you the ability to actually taste the food before it attacks you don't get me wrong serranos are hot so um, but before you know it you're addicted and you've got a half a belly full of material in you or these good old scrumptious peppers in you before you realize how hot it really is so you can actually enjoy it that's why I I choose the serranos in all my salsas so anyway, yeah, gonna be out here just roasting these puppies up, getting them ready to peel, and then uh, I'll be back with the next step. So one of the deals is you have to put the peppers and the tomatillos after they've roasted, you have to put them in a plastic baggie um, so they can sweat. That way, whatever part of the pepper does not get cooked on the grill uh, will actually sweat off the pepper I and mean, get the skin off. That's just a technique for getting the skin the rest of the skin is completely off anyway, all right I'm gonna put the peppers and the peppers are done I'm gonna put the peppers in the Ziploc bag and let them sit and cool down and sweat them I shall return all right so after I get done roasting all this stuff I put them in the bag they get there see they're sweating in there not quite sweated enough and there's the tomatillos after they've cooked I need to close them up and let them sweat and cool down for about five minutes or so. As you can see, I got nitrile gloves on because these peppers here will burn the crap out of you. Put you in the hospital. If you touch, touch, some, touch them and then rub your face. Oh, yeah. Been there, done that. Learned the hard way. Uh, after we get done peeling them, I'm going to go ahead and throw them in the blender here with... Uh, cilantro, some garlic, some onions, and some stewed tomatoes. So, yeah, when I get close to that, I'll show you what I'm doing and throw it in there and blend it all up and go from there. All right, so, yeah. Doggy, yeah, the tomatillos are freaking ready. They're hot. Actually,
basically I'm going to put them on a paper plate. Put the skins on a paper plate. As you can see, all the meat and everything's in there. Ooh, it's hot. Almost not done enough. Now these are not hot. Tomatillos are not hot. So there isn't that big of a deal as far as, oh, I, I gotta let these cool down some more. Cause they're gonna burn the nitrate gloves. Anyway, uh, these are not hot, so I could do these without gloves, except I just might as well go ahead and do it to it. Yeah, they're just hot. Hasn't been them that long since I took them off the barbecue. And a lot of people will do these in the oven on foil or whatever, or over a a roaster or the broaster or something like that. Um, you can do it any way you want. As long as they get them cooked to the point where you can de take the skin off. So I did more of the Serranos than I should have, but um, I kind of go to, t you know, at taste, taste. So We like hot stuff. So what I'll do is I will put two or three of these in the, the mix and reserve the rest. Oh, my mouth is watering. This stuff is so good. Oh, my God. I can't wait. This is the stuff you don't want to touch. So take care of it. I'll deseed half of them, and I'll I won't deseed the rest. The seeds are part of the heat. Oh yeah, I can smell it. it smells amazing. The skin just rubs right off since it's been sitting in there for so long. Sweating. So yeah, I got way more than I should. But the way I like to cook Mexican food, when I make it like this, it's just really, I like it really, really hot. This stuff here, the shelf life is a long time, actually. Put uh, lemon juice in there. And it helps preserve it. See, look at that. That skin is just peeling right off. Oh my. This is a nice one. Nice pepper. Heck yeah. One more for good measures, just to keep them honest. Oh yeah, look at that, peels right off. Nice. Perfect. All right. So I'll go ahead and let them tomatillos cool down a little bit more. And then I'll dig back into those and finish getting them. And then put everything in the blender, blend it all up. And then season to taste. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I got most of it done. Got uh, some garlic in there. We already went through and blended some of it. Got a tomato that's cooling off. Got it all in the pot. 
it is going to be cooking down. It was boiling or popping, so I turned it down because it kept popping up. I need a lid. But anyway, yeah, so in a little bit, uh, we'll come back and we'll give her a try. I'm going to go ahead and skin those tomatoes, throw them in there, blend them with the garlic, add them to this concoction, and then it's got to cook for about a minute, hour, 60 minutes. Anyway, ooh, yeah, lots going on in here. Lots, lots, lots. Look at this. That is Italian seasoned chicken, lemon chicken over rice. Oh my, that's good eating right there. All right, I will be back. There you go. So I'm done. It's cooking down. We've sampled it. It's really good. It's got a lot of flavor. Tomatillo verde chili or salsa. And it's freaking hot. And I only use those three serrano peppers. So it's a flavor explosion, huh honey? I'm surprised she was able to even say anything. It was so hot. I like it hot. Yes, she does. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, um, the recipe is yeah. Let's, uh, how are they, how about them shoes? <clears throat> uh, about a pound and a half of tomatillos roasted, cooked down, or roasted, uh, skinned. I did seven serranos, but I only put three in. Withholding judgment to see how hot it was going to be, and three did it. Don't need any more. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. Two roasted tomatoes. Everything with the skin off. And then blended. Um, a whole head of cilantro uh, in the blender as well and then uh, everything was blended like I said put in the pot and then boiled down and I probably got another half an hour 45 minutes of blend time and then cool off put in the fridge oh uh, one whole lemon squeezed with our handy dandy little squeezer and I added that to the recipe as well for uh, preservatives so it will last anyway you want something hot you like green chili this stuff's the bomb it is the bomb hope you enjoyed it hope you try it it's really worth it worth the time it's, it doesn't take that long especially if you're not doing anything at home and you're looking for something to do my go-to is the kitchen I love this place all right thanks for watching have a good one I'm out. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.